While the end of the travel mask mandate was literally met with cheers on some airplanes, not everybody celebrated. Not everyone. In addition to the immune compromised and those at a higher risk from COVID, a lot of parents still very worried about what this means for their young children. Dr. Frank McGeorge here now with a closer look at those concerns. Doc. Yeah, Sandra Devin, you know, there is still no vaccine, of course, for children under age five and those under age two aren't even able to wear a mask, which leaves parents rethinking their travel plans now that they know most passengers won't be masking up. <laughs> for more than two years, Erin Goulder has done everything she can to keep her children safe from COVID. We're pretty COVID conscious. We're probably the strictest people that we know now. Six-year-old Quinn and three-year-old Haven have been to parks, nature reserves, zoos, but they won't be getting on an airplane anytime soon. If people aren't wearing masks, then we're definitely going to come up with a different plan. Erin, her husband, and Quinn are vaccinated, but know they could still get COVID. Haven is too young to be vaccinated. The Goulders had planned to fly to Los Angeles and Europe this summer, but now they won't after the end of masking requirements on planes. I don't understand what the big deal about a mask is um, when you're in a enclosed space with that many people coming from that many different places. Overall, children are at less risk of severe disease from COVID, but Erin says it's long COVID and the unknowns that she worries about. My children are just starting out their lives. I want them to have the best shot they can. And if, if I can put a mask and put them in safer situations, that's what I'm going to choose to do. Now, if you are worried about your child's safety on a plane, train, or public transportation, driving your own vehicle is obviously safer if it's possible. It is still not clear when a vaccine for the youngest kids could be authorized. So, Frank, I know you're getting the question then, how risky is it for young children to fly right now? Well, you know, the issue is that you're being exposed to a lot of people from a lot of different places. The plane itself does have high-tech filtration systems, but they're really only running when you're in the air, not on the ground. Yeah. And if the airport itself is generally crowded, mm. it becomes an individual call that parents are going to have to make. And clearly, some are going to choose not to take that risk right now. That's right. Yeah. yeah, lots for parents to think about for sure. All right. Thanks, Doc.